So why don't we focus on income and wealth inequality? Why don't we focus on homelessness? Why don't we focus on poverty? Are racism, sexism, and homophobia far more important than people wondering where they're going to get their next meal and where they're going to lay their head tonight? Now, I'm not saying that racism, sexism, and homophobia aren't important, but are they more important than subjects that both Republicans and Democrats seem to have abandoned? You know, the subjects that I opened this video asking questions about? And let me be clear, I fully understand that there are areas where race, gender, sexual orientation, etc. overlap with issues around income inequality and homelessness and poverty. Okay, I understand there are areas where they intersect. Okay, I get that. But that's not the focus of this video. If we were to tackle drug addiction as a medical issue, and in some cases a mental health issue, and as a rehabilitation issue, rather than a criminal one, it would give a lot of people a new lease on life. It would help lift a lot of people off the streets. It would give a lot of people some hope. Oh, would it completely solve drug addiction and all the problems associated with it? No, of course not. But it would help a great deal. It's too bad so many Republicans have that whole mindset of survival of the fittest. You know, just pick yourselves up by your bootstraps. That kind of attitude. They don't think the government should be involved in helping the poor and disadvantaged. They think it should all be about charities, churches, missions. Maybe require some religious scripture be read to you if you want a place to sleep tonight. The notion that if things are miserable enough for you, that you'll just choose to get yourself out of that situation. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, Republicans and, and many others don't seem to realize what happens to people when they've given up hope. Either they don't realize or they don't care. In many cases, you can't just pick yourself up by your bootstraps. When you feel that you don't have any bootstraps to pick yourself up by, what difference does anything make anymore? Many Republicans, and also Democrats, end up looking at these people like they're not even human. That if you've reached that mindset of, well, what difference does anything make anymore? That you're no longer a part of this civilization, and that you should take no part in the lives of the rest of the country. That you should be invisible. We turn our backs on our fellow man while pretending to be virtuous. We believe in our religious texts. That makes us virtuous. And then there's the other side. We believe in diversity and equity. That makes us virtuous. Yeah, on the leftward side, instead of focusing on income and wealth inequality, homelessness, and poverty, the big focus is on race, gender, and LGBT status. And the notion that we should give you extra help based on which of those identity groups you belong to. If you're in a group that does statistically well, you don't deserve any extra help. Because after all, that's equity under the progressive stack. Yeah, your individual situation makes no difference to the progressive stack. Your race, gender, and LGBT status define your placement. Accept it. It's a social science. It's just as objective as a hard science. Look, if equity is being measured by people's individual situations, I'm all in. I'm in like Flynn. Give people the help they need. I feel very strongly about that. But the moment that getting any of that help is dependent on whether you belong to a particular identity group, yeah, I take an issue with that. I have a real problem with the idea of judging individuals on the statistics of their identity group or groups. To me, that's pretty racist and sexist and homophobic and whatnot. And if we make it okay to judge people that way, then it's opening up the door for people who are traditionally racist to use statistics to negatively judge minorities. Ah, but that's different, right? They're using it for a negative purpose. They're using it to oppress an oppressed group. 
Well, yeah, it's certainly worse. It's a lot worse. But I'd like us to simply stop judging people based on the statistics of their identity groups altogether. I think judging people that way is a terrible idea all around. And I'm not going to argue about the semantics of what that kind of judgment should be called. I don't really care what it's called. I just want to see that kind of judgment end. I don't want to see it get ramped up in an attempt to be helpful. When it comes to helping people, it should be about who are you as an individual and what have you experienced? What is your situation? How can we help? When it comes to the way that we treat you, it should be about, you know, hey, you're a human being and you deserve all the respect that any other human being deserves. I mean, at least to someone who doesn't know anything about you yet. It really saddens me knowing just how much our society just throws a bunch of people away, try to stuff them under the carpet. How can we claim to be so virtuous when we're a part of that kind of mindset that does that to so many people? You know, part of this is what I was talking about in the other video about class supremacy. How can we stop class supremacy? I don't see anyone trying to tackle it. But let's hold up a sign showing that we care so much about this particular racial identity group. Let's try to get as many likes and shares as we can on social media for holding up that sign. Let's put a banner around our avatar, around our profile picture, that shows that we care about that group. It'll make us better people.